The Economist. Suppose countries were like people and could shift from one neighbourhood to another. Britain, for example, humbled by its dire public finances, could move closer to southern Europe, for example to a new position near Madeira. A bumpy journey there might have another good side effect, allowing Wales and Scotland to become separate islands. In Britain's place should come Poland, which has suffered quite enough in its location between Russia and Germany and deserves a chance to enjoy the bracing winds of the North Atlantic and the security of seawater between it and any potential invaders. Belgium's incomprehensible Dutch-French language squabbles are redolent of Central Europe at its worst, especially the nonsenses that Slovakia thinks up for its Hungarian-speaking ethnic minority. So Belgium should swap places with the Czech Republic. The stolid, well-organised Czechs would get on splendidly with their new Dutch neighbours, and vice versa. Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania should move to a new location somewhere near Ireland. Like Ireland, they've bitten the bullet of internal devaluation, regaining competitiveness by cutting wages and prices, rather than taking the easy option of depreciating the currency, or borrowing recklessly as Greece has. The Baltics would also be glad to be farther away from Russia and closer to America. Belarus, currently landlocked and trying to wriggle out from under Russia's thumb, would benefit greatly from exposure to the Nordic region. Its influence played a big role in helping the Baltics shed their Soviet legacy. So Belarus should move northwards to the Baltic, taking the place of Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. Kaliningrad could shift up the coast towards Russia proper, while the western and central parts of Ukraine should move into slots vacated by Poland and Belarus. Germany, with the Ukrainian border now only 100 kilometres from Berlin, would start having to take that country's European integration seriously. Some reordering of the Balkans is long overdue too. Macedonia, Albania and Kosovo should all rotate places, with Macedonia taking Kosovo's place next to Serbia, Kosovo moving to Albania's slot on the coast, and Albania shifting inland. Paranoid Greek fantasies about territorial claims from the deluded Slav irredentist in the nameless northern neighbour would be even more unsustainable. It would also make sense to move Switzerland north, where it would fit neatly into the Nordic countries. Its neutrality would go down well with the Finns and Swedes. Norway would be glad to have another non-EU country next door. Austria could shift westwards into Switzerland's place, making room for Slovenia and Croatia to move northwest too. They could join northern Italy in a new regional alliance. Ideally, it would be run by a doge from Venice. The rest of Italy, from Rome downwards, would separate and join with Sicily to form a new country. Officially, it might be called the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies. Some unkind people, quite unfairly, might give it another nickname, such as Bordello. Of course, the moves don't create a perfect fit. So a welcome side effect would be to make space for previously fictional creations, such as Antony Hope's Ruritania, Hergé's Sildavia and Borduria, and Bulgaria, the backdrop for Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. European geography can be as frustrating as the continent's history. All the more reason, therefore, to daydream when you can. <laughs>